Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this two different really cool animations inside of After Effects. You can use them as an Instagram story or as an Instagram reel, however that you want to promote your business, maybe showcase some products or literally anything. We will also cover a lot of different tips and techniques throughout this tutorial so make sure you watch it till the end and with that said let's jump straight into after effects and get started Now before we start today's video, I just want to quickly tell you guys about my very own Gaze Graphics Pack. Link is in the description. The pack now comes with Atomx extension and over 4500 plus ready to use animations saving you a lot of time. Using the pack is super easy. Open your project composition, browse the animation that you like using the Atomx extension and just click on apply. Boom, you are good to go. You can even use the customizer inside the extension to edit your animations. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. Giz Graphics Pack comes equipped with 22 different categories which include 230 plus slideshows and typography animations, 400 plus transitions, 650 plus titles and lower thirds, 60 plus logo animations, animated devices, infographics, color filters, social media animations, shape elements, text and animation presets, sound effects and a lot more. So grab your copy today of the Gaze Graphics Pack version 5 powered by Atomix extension. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by designing our first reel. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new composition. Let's set the width to 1080. That is fine. Let's increase the height to 1920. I'll call this reel underscore 0 130 FPS and 10 seconds long duration. You can of course go uh, 60 seconds and 90 seconds as well. Press OK. Then let's press Ctrl Y to create a new solid. I'll call this PG for a background and press OK. Go into effects and presets and search for fill effect. So I'll just double click to add that and let's add a nice color to our background. So I'll go with something like this. Looks nice blue. Now the first section of this, now the first section of creating any kind of reel is designing it and then we will work on the animation part. So let's start off by designing it. I'll create a new composition again. This is going to be our media placeholder. So let's call this media underscore zero one and I'll change the width and height to around 1200 by 1200 and press OK. And here I have an image that I downloaded from Unsplash. You can go ahead and download it. It's absolutely free and I'll place it like so. Go back into reel one. Let's select the text tool and I will be using S as a letter for this design. You can of course use anything that you want. And for the font, I'll use Poppins. Poppins extra bold looks good, I think. Okay. Let's move the anchor point in the center. If you don't have the anchor point mover, you can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and that should move the anchor point in the center. Also, before we even start with the animation, make sure to download the keyframe wingman, which is a free after effects script link is in the description. It comes along with the animation composer. So after you install it, you can go into windows and there you'll find the animation composer three keyframe wingman. That's it. So press S to bring down the scale property and let's increase the size a little bit like so and press R to bring down the rotation properties and I'll rotate it a little bit and then drag the image composition below this and change the image composition track mat to alpha mat and then I can adjust this. I'll press S and scale this up a little bit by 105. 
okay that is looking good i think let's duplicate the s so press ctrl d again and turn this on let's select the background color and put this below press s to bring down the scale property again scale this up like so and then right click go into layer styles and let's add a drop shadow go into drop shadow set the distance to zero and increase the size really high like so and let's adjust the opacity and keep it very subtle so that looks really nice and adds a nice accent in the background i can play around with the scale size the way i want and i'll place it maybe somewhere around here and let's scale this down a little bit okay and then let's add the text or the info that we want to use so i'll select the text tool and make sure to hide this for now and let's create click and drag to create a square like so and then i'm going to add a simple text here okay that is looking good and for the font i'll go with a poppins maybe medium and there we go let's adjust the height also the paragraph alignment is set to left and then let's turn on rest of the elements so this is looking quite nice i'll adjust the text a little bit i think also maybe i'll play around with the size of the s so i'll scale that down a little and there we go looking nice so our design is complete now we can go ahead and animate this so i'll go to one second select the background hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back at the start and drag this out like so okay let's go to one second again select the s press p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and drag this out holding shift and also press r to bring down the rotation and let's create a keyframe on the rotation drag that keyframe to one second and let's set this to zero so now we have something like this looking good let's select the media as well also what i'm going to do is select the s and parent this to our media composition so if we move the media the s letter moves along with that so let's select the media hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and drag that out as well and also same with the rotation i'll drag this keyframe at one second and let's rotate it like so so now we have something like this pretty nice now let's select everything press u so we can see the keyframes make sure everything is aligned up add one second all right now what i'm going to do is use the keyframe wingman script so i'm going to select all the keyframes and let's unlink this set this to 100 and set this to around maybe 20. so this is going to give us a very nice and smoother animation and as you can see it looks very fast so let's actually increase the timing so I'll go to around two seconds and drag this keyframes like so. Now let's see the timing. Yep, that is looking much better. And then what we can do is move every frame by around 10 to 15 frames forward of each other. So I'll drag this one right here at 10 frames. I'll go to around 20 frames. Drag this one and this one right here. And uh, yeah, there we go. And I also I'm going to add a secondary animation to the media comp. So let's hit U. Let's go right here. Press S to bring down the scale property and create a keyframe. And I'll set this to somewhere around there. And then what I'm going to do is select the S letter that we have. Press S to bring down the scale property and let's select the media and hit U so we can see the keyframe. Yep. Let's bring down the size a little bit. Create a keyframe. Go to somewhere around there and let's increase this a little bit like so and then select it and add the same exact animation so now we have something like this but i think i'll change this animation so let's link this up and set this to 95 make sure i apply that and now let's see yep that is looking good maybe i'll move this keyframe a little bit forward in time yep so we have a nice secondary animation and now let's go ahead and add some nice text animation as well. So I'll go right here in the text properties, go into animate and add a position and then go into add a property and add opacity. Let's bring down the position to around 100, 
set the opacity to zero go into range selector i'll go maybe right at the very start let's set this to minus 100 create a keyframe go to one second and 15 frames let's set this to 100 go into advanced properties and set this to ramp up and i'll increase the ease high to around maybe 90 i think and let's set the ease low to 10. okay and then change the based on from character to words and now let's see what we have yeah we have this really nice text animation i think i'll do the reverse so i'll set the ease high to 10 and ease low to somewhere around 70 should be good so now if i preview this we have this nice text animation as you can see Now I'll move the text animation a few frames forward, maybe around one second and 15 frames. So now if I preview this, we have this really nice animation ready to roll. I'll also add a simple continuous rotation to the background S. So I'll select the S, press R to bring down the rotation, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and let's add a simple expression of time into, um, let's go with six. So it keeps on rotating and we have a nice subtle movement in the background so it doesn't look very static. And there we have our first animated reel. Pretty simple and easy and looks very very professional. Now before we proceed any further with this tutorial, I would like to take a moment to introduce you guys to our today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that caters to creative individuals who are looking to take their skills to the next level. With millions of members, it offers thousands of inspiring classes on a range of topics such as illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. What sets Skillshare apart is its commitment to designing classes that are relevant to real life situations, allowing you to continue your creative journey without sacrificing your other commitments. If you are interested in learning more about motion graphics and animation, be sure to check out their animation course on motion design. What's more, Skillshare is incredibly affordable when compared to pricier in-person classes and workshops. So if you are keen to take your creative skills to the next level, click the first link in the description below and check out Skillshare. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's jump on to the second one and that is my favorite. So I'll create a new composition here called this reel underscore zero two. Let's set the width, uh, width to 1080 and height to 1920 press ok then uh, let's duplicate the media one so press ctrl d so we have media 2 now i'll press ctrl y to create a new solid again called this bg press ok add a fill effect and this time i'm gonna go with a nice pink color then select the text tool and type in the text that we want let's increase the size i'm gonna type in creative music studio and for the font, I'll use Grifter, one of my favorite font and looks very, very cool. Full caps. Let's increase the size and adjust the height. Okay, I'll also add a call to action button for this. So I'll select the text tool and type in the text, explore, and I'll give it a nice black color. Let's bring down the size like so and create a button for this so i'll create a shape like that put this below and uh, i think it's a bit too big so let's bring down the size a little bit and also i'll align this with the explore text so select both of these layers and go into align and just align them properly i'll call this button very important to rename things okay let's unlink this and adjust the size accordingly also, I'm using stroke of around eight pixels if you haven't noticed, so you can add as much stroke as you want. I think eight looks fine for now. And then let's select this. I'll place it right over here. And that is looking quite nice, I think. So for the text animation, I'll use the same exact animation from this particular section. So I can go right here and copy this animator control c go into the reel 2 at the very start and hit control v to paste it so we have the same animation which looks really nice 
and for the button i'll animate the scale property of this so press s go to around one second and 15 frames create a keyframe go back and set this to zero and i i'll add the same exact curve from here so now we have this nice button animation i think it's a bit too slow so let's set this to one second then select the explode text go into effects and presets and search for set matte effect double click to apply that and set this to button so it acts as a track mat for the text pretty cool let's animate the background quickly as well so i'll go to one second select the background press s to bring down the scale property unlink this create a keyframe go back and set this to zero and let's apply the same expression or the same animation okay so that is looking nice Obviously, I will change the timing of this. So I'll move these things a few frames forward to around maybe 10 seconds. Yep, that is looking good. And right here, I want my image to appear. So I'll add the media to right over here. Press S and scale that down. And I'll place it right here. I think I'll change the size of this. So press Control K and let's set this to 1080 by 1080. And I'll also obviously change the image. There we go. Press S to bring down the scale property and set this to 100. Okay. So now I want to animate the image. So to do that, I'll duplicate this. Press Control D. Let's rename the top one to mask and set the track mat of this to alpha mat. Then select the mask composition, press S to bring down the scale property. Create a keyframe right here and make sure the anchor point is at the bottom. If you don't have the anchor point mover script, which again comes with animation composer and it's free, you can select the pan behind tool, turn on the snapping and then snap the anchor point wherever that you want. I'll snap it at the bottom and then go at the very start unlink the scale property and let's set this to zero so now we have a very simple animation as you can see i think i'll set this to around one second and 15 frames select it and let's apply the same expression or the same curve and that is looking good and then what i want to do is go somewhere around here at two seconds looks good go right here create a new null object call this controller and parent everything except the uh, media composition and the background parent these three layers to this controller and then let's animate this so hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe make sure you select this and hit u so we can see the keyframes go right here and move this at the top like so okay and then apply the same um, animation curve so now we have something like this pretty cool and i'll also animate the image so i'll select the media composition create a keyframe on the scale go right here and set this to 110 and again apply the same curve boom there we go so there we have our second reel ready to roll super easy to create and looks pretty damn cool one thing i'll do is move this a few frames forward and there we go yeah that looks much better. So this is how you can create these cool real animations inside of After Effects. You can also use them as a story, obviously. So make sure to create some really amazing reels and upload them on Instagram and tag me as well. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on instagram at dope.motions all the links are in the description below and if you guys want these kind of ready-made animated instagram reels you can check out our gaze graphics pack it has more than 50 plus different animated reels along with the ones that i showed you today so again link to this pack is also in the description so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.